Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to review for you the good and the beautiful meteorology unit study. If you guys are new to my channel, we are a homeschooling family. I have lots of videos for toddlers and preschoolers that I release every Tuesday. If you have little ones, go ahead and check out that playlist. If you don't, I also have tons of curriculum reviews, homeschooling day in the lives, and lots of other homeschooling videos. videos. If you guys are new to homeschooling, I also have a playlist for homeschooling tips and advice. So you guys should go ahead and check that out too. So let's get into this review. So this is the Meteorology, Weather, and Atmosphere Unit Study for grades K through 5 from the Good and the Beautiful. I keep all of my units in a binder like this. Okay, so let's flip through this here. Now with the Meteorology Unit, we will be studying. So this is a Christian-based curriculum. So you will be studying the creation of weather, introduction to seasons, atmosphere, measuring weather, air pressure and temperature, wind, clouds, rain, thunder, lightning, snow, hail, blizzards, tornadoes, hurricanes, and forecasting weather. On this page you have your unit information where you are told to create a science journal, a science wall, which I will put mine up for this video and then show it to you because we are about to start studying this one this week. You have mini books in here. It tells you how to prepare them. Um, lesson preparation, all of your experiments and how to create your weather station. So that's in these next few pages, your daily weather data pages and teaching older children grades seven to 12. Here are your supplies needed list for each lesson. That way, right before your lesson, you can go out and purchase all the things that you need. So here's just an example of something you would need, let's say, for lesson 11 for wind. You would need science journals, construction paper, tissue paper, stapler markers, crayons, color pencils, a hole punch, yarn, your weather station, which is made in lesson 6, and optional read aloud books. And then here you have your optional read aloud books. So let's go again to lesson seven. You'd read um, The Man Who Named the Clouds. That's for children in grades two to six or Clouds by Anne in grades K through three. So you can pick which book you want to read or you can read them all. Next you have your vocabulary words which go on the science wall. So you're supposed to put it on your wall as you discover the words, but I like to create my entire wall at the beginning of the unit, put all of my words and all of my pictures up there because I want it to look pretty the entire time. And plus our classroom is in the front of our house. As soon as people come in, I don't want an unfinished wall. So I go ahead and I put all of my vocabulary words and I also assemble the mini books and all that and I put it right onto my wall and then I just take the mini books down. I put them up with a thumbtack um, when I need them. So for your lesson, you know what, since we've been talking about lesson 11, let's go to lesson 11. As we continue to talk about wind, you will hear my children in the background because I'm a homeschooler and they're always in the background. Lesson 11, the objective is to help the children identify what wind is and how it was created, how it is created, define the vocabulary word wind. It tells you how to prepare. So for this lesson, you would print one copy of how wind is created and one copy of the wind page. And then you can read your optional read aloud. You would then have the children complete the data, daily weather and read this to the children, put the science word onto the wall, the vocabulary words, read this to the children, tells you what picture to show. Then they would do this in their science journal and do this activity, make a wind sock. These are the instructions for the wind sock here. 
Less than extension for the older children. They would have to research and create a map or chart explaining one of the following. Global winds, the jet stream, or the Beaufort scale. So here's the page on how wind is created. Here is the page on wind that they have to complete. And that's for lesson 11. So some of the pages have these mini books with these beautiful pictures. And you can either purchase the hard copy or you can download the PDF. Some of these science units are free on the website. Others can be purchased. So there are also some full page pictures. That's Hurricane Isabel. And I like to put some of those big pictures on my science wall. I'm going to show you in a minute. Here's your five day forecast. And all those sheets that they all have to complete. Your weather graph. Temperature graphs. Game cards. Etc. Etc. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little review. I will also review the other sciences that I have. If there are any curriculum that you would like to see from the good and the beautiful, if I have it, I will do a review for you. Just leave it in the comments below. If you are doing the good and the beautiful science, which is your favorite unit that you guys have done so far? As for me so far, I really like the marine biology that just came out. So guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out my channel for other homeschooling videos, curriculum reviews, homeschooling day in the lives. There are some family time videos there, get to know us better. And also toddler and preschooler Tuesday videos each Tuesday. There's a playlist there if you have little ones. And consider subscribing guys if you like what you see. Thank you so much for watching.